Meow. Rar XD. <laughs> Meow. Rar XD. <laughs> What's up, fellas? All right, we're speed running Twitch, okay? I ain't got all the time in the world. Time is money, and I'm not very wealthy. Pass the soup boy, you're orange. Cargoyle, you're like green blue. Enesh Pulvin 34, I've never seen that emote in my entire life. SC Fee Containment Breach, nice to see you. You saw a Robocock. See, this is why we don't go on the NSFW channel. Um, <laughs> 
Hey everybody, remember to use your Prime subs and also Tier 3 to me at the same time. Maybe just gift 50 Tier 3s. Um, Ice Wallow come, thank you for the follow. Oh my, oh, you totally got me, dude. You got me. Oh, what else do streamers do? Um, uh, Jeff Bezos is a total fucking nip. Nice guy. I said a, I said a very nice man. He's really kind. Kip, nice to see you. Salmon, thank you for the prime, the WAP prime. Check on the kids. Check on the kids, fellas. Ooh. Okay. Luckily for you, they're adults. Would clip, but it's too incriminating. I appreciate you for saving me. <laughs> Here's, here's B. B is currently taking a bath. They are a fully grown adult. They're a ninja. I think you guys already knew that. B was fully grown. But huge news, Brad, Chad's descendant, has also fully become an adult. And he's Jay chillin'. Look at him. He's like an old biker dude who's got a mohawk, but he also has the side hair that old balding men have. And then he's got like, sp sprinkles for feet? Or maybe just like a fucking tank tread, but it's horizontal. So he can only slide side to side like a crab. I don't know. He's wearing a skirt. Like a chain link skirt. Oh god, that's trippy as hell. See, it's real. This is my real child. <laughs> I'm not judging. He can do him. He's my son. I'm very supportive of him. <gasps> maybe he's like, um... What's his name? Will Smith from Aladdin. Chad, oh, Chad's long gone. I don't know where Chad went. Jeez, it's nice to see ya. Always a pleasure. In a few streams, I'm having enough for a hunt. See, you wouldn't. You would not drop 15,000 good boy points, right, like that. No, 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 Chad, Chad was my, my kid, right? These are the grandkids. So, Chad and Aw, uh, I don't really know where they went. Probably just to go, like, live on a farm. Maybe they got flushed on the toilet. You have this shirt? Yeah, for once I didn't have time to put effort into the stream, so I haven't. I have it. <laughs> Keep it on the DL, fellas. You know what? It's a streamer speed run. I'm just living up to the role. I ain't showered in like two days, boys. And we're making it three. I'm not showering until I turn this fucking exam in. Shitty graphic tease. You know what? It's not shitty. I got this as a gift. We wore this once over the summer. I'm actually shocked it's not getting green screened out. We're getting better at this whole shaboodle. Not to toot my own caboot or nothing. You're going to bed? Hey, have a good night, soup boy. I hope you have a nice warm bowl of chicken noodle soup. No, that's, I think that's cannibalism, actually. You probably won't rest well with that on your conscience. I hope you have some nice vivid dreams. I had a weird dream recently. I don't remember much of it. I almost never remember my dreams, but I remember tiny details very vividly. All I remember is I was back on the simulation Mars mission thing that I did a little over a year ago. This is a real thing. Went to live in the desert in this shitty little fake Mars space habitat. It was cool, whatever. It, it, it was like that happened again, but the place was like a nice ass mansion. But in dreams, there's no fucking logic. You never, you never run those calculations and go, wait a second, the Mars Society is a non-profit that has like 50 cents to their name. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is pretty cool. They did a couple renovations. But to make it just even more pog champ, even more pog champ, fucking Emma Stone was there. That's all I remember. Literally all I remember is that I was trapped in a mansion for two weeks with Emma Stone. Kind of a goaded setup for a dream. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of fucking sick. And then I woke up. Such is life. And then Moira was there. She was like, hey, how'd you sleep? And I was like, oh, pretty well, I think. I don't, don't remember my dream or anything. You had a dry dream about Emma Stone. Dude, I was watching... Fuck, what was I watching? I was listening to a podcast or something. And the dudes were talking about how they still have wet dreams. 
they're like a, these are like adult men. I think it was the General Sam Forehead Fables podcast. Is that? Are you supposed to keep having nocturnal emissions until you're like 80? I thought it was you turn 13, you pee the bed until you're 13, then you come the bed for a year, and then you're like done. I do I have the libido of a monk in a monastery? Or, <laughs> I don't know, never had them. Well, you can't be on Twitch then. If you're 12, you can't be on Twitch. You have nocturnal emissions if you don't jerk the bean every week. Oh no. I've exposed myself. Please don't tell Emma Stone. Ooh, new songs in the playlist. Donkey Kong Country 2, an absolute fucking classic. I found this album on YouTube that's like revived and remastered the songs from Donkey Kong Country 2. I mean, you can find shit tons of covers on YouTube of video game music, especially the really good video game soundtrack songs like Guile's theme from Street Fighter and all that shit. But you'll never find a remaster quite as accurate as this album. So you know I downloaded that shit. What's poppin' Scottish? How are you doing? When is the Kirby Air Ride content incoming? Oh, baby. I keep remembering, but then being like, I already had a plan for the stream. Fuck. So I don't really know what to do, but it will come. We are gonna go competitive in Kirby Air Ride, right? We, we have some work to do. We have quite a bit of work to do, actually, because we have to finish the, the Pokemon Platinum card lock and we have to do Fallout New Vegas. I promised people that. I promised. I made a promise. Fun fact, if you don't... <laughs> Alright, Jim. I'll take your word for it, as an expert in biology. There you go, Z1. Nice to see ya. I like that Z1 always makes his presence known. Anytime he shows up in a stream, by, like, redeeming some shit. It's always a timeout. Or, today he spiced it up. Today's an interesting day. New Vegas, baby. Nani, nice to see ya. You guys wanna know something funny? The last couple nights have been like the most active our Discord has ever been. And I'm so chuffed about it. I love it. I love to see it. I love to participate in it. Cause y'all some funny motherfuckers. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You guys are funnier than me. And you help me distract myself from my day-to-day -day minutia. The NSFW needs nuking, but I will never look in there. I have never looked in there. This is why I hired degenerate mods, is just so I never have to dip a toe into the miasma of the NSFW channel. Delete NSFW? Here's the thing, here's the issue, is if I delete NSFW, all of that shit, that entire hive of scum and villainy gets swept up into our chat, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have anywhere else to go. We need, we need a receptacle. We need a place where the most degenerate of the degenerates can just off gas and decompress so that they're not weird champ and they're not pogo in chat. Or at least not above our weird champ pogo baseline. I mean, we're, we're pretty fucking weird champ. We need a regular meme channel. What do you think shit posting means? Do you think shit posting means quality content and discussion sparking memes? That's exactly what shitposting is. No one uses Gamertown. Yeah, there's a couple dead channels, but nonetheless, it's been the the most active I've, I've ever seen it being. The text channels and the voice channels with, with the Choco Chats and JPB's Starship uh, watch parties. Someday I'm gonna make it to one of those. I really, really want to. They just always happen during classes and shit. What was I talking about? Oh, but when I sent out Discord notifications today, we lost like five people from the Discord. We weeded out the fucking week, okay? Just by interacting with each other and showing our true colors, we culled them. <laughs> Doubters only channel? Fuck no. Hell no. This is the most censored stream you will ever possibly see. I'm not gonna give any power to doubters, let alone the ability to unionize and rise up. 
I'll make a believers only channel so we can strategize strategize against you fucks. They clicked on NSFW memes. <sighs> Shivers. Shivers down my spine. It's a feature. You can prune the Discord? What does that do? Get rid of like inactive accounts? I don't really have any intention to prune it because anybody who's willing to get added every time I go live and get the notification, whether or not they click on it, is a valuable member of society to me. You can't beat us. I, I'll prove you wrong. Someday, Fee. I'll prove you fucking wrong. We will beat the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. And we will do it before the Diamond and Pearl remix come out. Mark my fucking words. Clip it if you want to. Ship it to me in November by Carrier Pigeon. Mark my words. You will not divide us! <laughs> Sam, and that's the best fucking reference I've ever seen in my chat. Amogus stream? Holy shit, most of you probably don't remember this. Remember, um... Remember September? When I would just boot up Fall Guys or boot up Among Us with some friends and go live? Now I've lost all my friends because I've started streaming. Now, the only people I can milk for content are you, chat. And that's a disgustingly sad reality. Do you remember? I played Amogus? I did. I did, and I enjoyed it. They, they actually used to call me the Gaslight King. Gaslight Gregory, they called me back in the day. That reminded you of a very bad rally? No, it's a reference to the old, um... What was it? Shia LaBeouf or someone? In 2016, around election time, set up a live stream of a camera in New York or some shit. And people would just go up there and he made people chant, You will not divide us! Or he will not divide us or some shit. Oh, man. And then eventually people just kept going up and trolling it. People from 4chan specifically. And usually I'm not on their side, but it was so fucking funny that... I mean, you gotta just watch from the sidelines and guzzle down some popcorn. Eventually... Shia got ticked off by how much shit was going down on his hosted live stream. So he took the camera and he moved it to the middle of some field in like Bumblefuck, Tennessee or something. And it was just a live stream of a flag that said he will not divide us. Read the last message. You really going to make me scroll up. Crunch. Today, the Supreme Ship SN1 took its maiden voyage and experienced an RUD at flight level 2. Oh, fuck, well, you already launched your rocket? You were just building it like yesterday. Damn, you got a quick turnaround, my dude. Anyway, people from Fortune fucking took like the camera feed because it was angled up at the sky, saw the airplane contrails, went Hacker Man from Kung Fury, triangulated its position based on chemtrails, and found that shit, sent in a Fortune operative, and they took it down within like 48 hours. Absolutely insane. When they put their minds together, it's disgusting what they can accomplish. I hate it. Remember that moment when you played Amogus and a chat member asked you to join the voice chat of the players? Wait. And a chat member asked to join the voice chat of the Discord group you were in, of like, yeah, my real life friends, and it was really awkward. Yes! Yes, I do, Sam, and Y'all are fucking weird. That's why it comforts me to see regulars. <laughs> this this was a lot worse when I would play like multiplayer games like uh, Among Us or Sea of Thieves or Rocket League. Like when I destroyed all of my momentum from the, the live stream fails bump by immediately playing fucking Sea of Thieves and dropping to my lowest viewer count I've ever gotten in months on a day where I gained like a thousand followers. <laughs> But when you play, like, Rocket League or some shit, oh, you get so many people in chat that are just like, <laughs> cool stream. No, Cargoil, that was, that was not you. Don't, don't you dare blame yourself, you handsome young man. I actually, that was on me. I, I used you and, um, Sporadic Spaceman was there for that too, right? It was us three hitting the seas. I don't remember who the crew was, but I actually... Plan that for that day once shit started hitting the fan because I was way 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 too nervous 
for this massive influx of people. Oh, and, and Frogo, my man. I was, I was actually pissing in my britches. This was only like two months ago. I was very, very, very uncomfortable with, with that spike, even though nothing like really changed. It's still just me talking at a fucking camera. I, I brought all my props out for the first like half an hour of that stream. I tried to make it as fucking jam packed as I could. I even edited an entire intro video, which you'll probably, you, you could find if you went to the, the VODs channel on YouTube. I fucking went hard for that because it was winter break. I had nothing else to do, really. And then after like half an hour of talking to chat and getting to know everybody, I was like, I can't take this anymore. I'm too nervous. Let's, let's play some Sea of Thieves, please. Because with three other people talking to chat or at least interacting with each other, 25% the pressure, A, to be entertaining and B, to interact. That's the reality of it, boys. Holy shit, it is so toasty in my room. Look at announcements. Gem, I swear to God, if you at everyone in the announcements channel for some stupid bullshit one last time, I'm actually removing the Discord mod status. I'll do it. I'll do it. How are you gonna how are you gonna groom children in the Discord if I do it? Look, I've got the leverage here, baby. I will send Chris Hansen after you. <laughs> Look at the support in the chat. <laughs> They're all doubters. To catch a Redditor. Holy fuck, that's good. Oh, that's so good. We demand trial by combat. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, fellas, but here, Jem has all the leverage. Uh, my hands are tied, boys. How how is the microphone gonna follow me? How am I gonna keep the the three finger spacing between my mouth and the microphone if I don't have both hands on the stand at all times? So I can't untime you out. I can't unmod him. He's got all the leverage here, fellas. <laughs> right, I'll go look. I'll look. Jim will not divide us. Jim will not divide us. You know, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to make a man open Discord on stream. I have my laptop for two things and two things only. A, doing bullshit ass CAD work because my desktop computer doesn't have enough hard drive space for SolidWorks. And B, for putting out Discord notifications when I'm live. And I'm now foregoing that entire... Dell XPS whatever fucking stupid ass number Trial by combat Trial by combat How do I do it? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Jim You me stream racer right now trial by combat if you win you retain mod big wet sloppy fart in the announcements channel if i win no more grooming no more children <gasps> oh sam and i <laughs> What does it say? Chat, what does it say about our Discord channel when my most frequently used emote is Sag? What does that say about us as people? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? <laughs> oh, somebody broke the combo. Perfect. Excellent. Nice to know you have mods you can trust. Well, I wasn't expecting to do the old, uh... The old mod debates this early. KY Sag. 
I'm opening Steam. I'm opening street Steam for Stream Racer. It's going down in the DMs. I'll scoop up that mod for a game of Stream Racer. Fuck. <laughs> I realize now I've made it look like people can just get mod in chat for a 50-50 coin toss. <laughs> Chat, I will not have any cyberbullying of the mods or of other chatters. You'll send me your resume. Oh, he spelled it right. He spelled a resume right. Pug you, baby. Listen. What, Jim? What could you possibly say? This relationship is over. I'll be a good boy. I'll be a good boy. It is far too late for good boys. If you're such a good boy, you probably have a lot of good boy points, but you can't gamble them. That was a mod. Peeped my resume on my website? Dude, oh, he actually linked the website in the chat. Pog you! Yeah, I removed almost all of the content creation shit from there. And of course, I, I almost... There was a split second where my resume was on that website with all of my personal information on it. There was like a 30 seconds in time where you would have had my phone number and my address. Both of my addresses. Home address and campus address. That could have been fucking- wait, I shouldn't have told you that. How does the Wayback Machine work? Can you go to a specific timestamp? Please don't hunt me down. Please don't send snipers. I beg of you. I beg of you. I've been a good boy. I've created an entire economy, an empire of good boy points. All I ask is that you spare me, please. On the day of my daughter's wedding, please. Is that so much to ask? No snipers. I've got enough pimples. Stream racer rich, stream racer my life? You want me to stream racer my life? Push-ups? No. You wouldn't. Oh. Holy shit, chat. Do you see that? <laughs> Please. No. You gotta spare me, man. I, I'm so young. I got so much to live for. <laughs> I'm just a boy. I'm just a, I'm just a little boy. Please. Oh, fuck. I'm dragging the wrong thing. <laughs> fuck. Oh shit! They're here! They're at my door! Chat! You gotta remember me! I can still hear you. Speak to me. The acoustics. <laughs> you gotta help me, man. There's gotta be a fucking way out of this. Chat. All the blood's rushing to my head. I can't get a boner no more. You gotta help me, boys. <laughs> they found me. Also, I could get a fucking job at SpaceX. Now I'm here. They even went through the effort of putting the same paintings up as, as my normal backdrop. 
Look what they've done. Look what they've done to my boy. Oh shit. Wait a second. It's just rubber bands. Chat, it's just fucking rubber bands. That's all it is. It's just a couple of... Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Oh, I can see. <laughs> Clip the feet. You guys see feet every time I do push-ups. You know what? I got push-ups to do. We got work to do. I'm not just going to yoink somebody's harder and good boy points, even though I'm still on the ceiling. You know what? Didn't even pay for it. Yeah, I'm always wearing socks. Of course. The only thing that keeps the good boy point economy together, the linchpin of our financial system and our federal reserve, is the show feet reward. If I were to give that away for free, inflation would be destroyed. Everything would be over. But today is not that day. No, today we do some goddamn push ups. It's time to get the lactic acid flowing. My hands are so sticky. This one goes out to Emma Stone. <laughs> Yo, real talk chat, I hit my nose on the on the on the ceiling. The Yeah, the ceiling. Holy shit, this is so confusing. Screwed the pooch on this one. There we go. <laughs> Wait, is it backwards? No, this is how it normally is. Wait. No, it's backwards, right? Whoa, what the fuck? We should do a whole stream like this. Holy shit. Chat. Am I the mirror guy? I'm the guy. <laughs> I hate this too. <laughs> but you did this chat. Oh, it's so uncomfy. It says Aknetnin. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Or maybe it's opposite world. Oh, I'm not looking at chat anymore. Hey guys, it's really nice to see you. I sure you hope you're not spamming capital D colons in chat. That would be weird champ Pago. <laughs> oh, make fun of Minecraft. Uh, it's a little baby game for little babies. This is, this is my thing, right? This is my thing. That fucking real world guy, he's a little pussy and he took all of my clout to get on Reddit. Whip out your snorkel. Snorkel still in Virginia. Oh fuck! Minecraft made me. <laughs> Every day I log into Mirror Twitter, Retoot. Every day, and I see thousands of Stan accounts using my face or my Minecraft skin as their Twitter profile picture. And every day I say, although you may stalking be stalking me, you may know my address. I still love you. I still love you. Because you made me famous and you made me who I am. 
So although there are millions of you, I love each and every one of you on an interpersonal, not even remotely parasocial level. It's true. Yeah, I'm a total doubter. Fuck that guy. What's up, hardcore? E Ikra Dikra. <laughs> What if I- there's gotta be a way to like reverse everything I say into my mic. No, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Cause then it would have to see into the future and know what I'm gonna say before I say it. True. Wait, but in this reality I've already taken the exam. <gasps> Wait a second! In this reality I already have my grade for the exam. And I already have the answers. <gasps> but the answers will all be wrong. So I need to copy these answers down and then reverse them, make sure to get the opposite, the inverse. Wait, but if I get the inverse in reality, but I got the test here, if I transfer it over, will it already invert or will I myself need to invert it or will I live in a reverse, reverse dimension? Does two negatives make a positive chat? Why don't two positives make a negative? We gotta figure out a way out of here. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. We're like the the reverse dimension from a Jordan Peele's hit film, Us. Yeah, I just spoiled the whole fucking movie. The thumbnail for your stream is upside down. You ever consider the fact that maybe, maybe it's you who's upside down? Chat, there's something, there's something. How do we get out of here? I gotta find a mirror. I gotta find a mirror. Something shiny, something reflective. I literally own nothing reflective. <laughs> My phone! My Nintendo Switch! Here we go, boys. This is our only shot. One shot, one opportunity. If this doesn't work, we're out of luck. First, we must consult the wizards who invented, nay, pioneered this proprietary technology. Teach us your ways. Teach us your incantations, Steve. We can skidoo to figure out where rain comes from. <laughs> you skidoo, we can do. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is it. This is the one. It all comes down to this chat. If I don't make it, remember me. We need something that rhymes. Something that expresses who we are deep down on a spiritual, emotional level. I've got it, chat. I've got it. We have only one chance. I think Semantic Salmon is a little, uh, a little confused on what it means for something to rhyme, but I like where your head's at, Salmon. <laughs> what rhymes with cum? <laughs> Fellas, this is our only chance. Our only chance to get out of this purgatory, this hell, this twisted, distorted, warped dimension. In this realm, Jeff Bezos lives in a ditch on the side of the road. Neckbeards in their mother's attic stream for 20,000 viewers to a bunch of anime girls. But we got to get out of here. So say it with me, chat. Say it with me now.
One shot. One opportunity. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Give me torture. Cock and ball. We're doing it. Did it work? It worked! Chat, we're back! You can read it! And I'm fine! I'm fine, chat! I'm the same bed I always used to be! Wait. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? <laughs> This is us now. This is the reality we live in. We've been distorted by years, eons of time travel. This is us now. <gasps> Holy shit. Do you see that? That kind of looks like the red imposter. What? Where did I go? Where the fuck did I go? Wait. What? That didn't do anything. <gasps> we made it, chat. We made it out of that hellish reality. Hopefully never to return again. Holy shit. So this exam, it's gonna fuck me. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, of course I'm not a doubter. Why would I ever be a doubter? Don't insult it, it's my home dimension. <sighs> I'm feeling good. Sweaty as hell. I think I blacked out for the last like five minutes, but I could use a little rest anyway. Got like three hours of sleep last night. The other one had better hair. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you, hardcore. I just put on a shitty middle school play. <laughs> yeah, my alt accounts. That's the mirror man. Wait, but the mirror man would talk shit. Unless, if the mirror man is in the mirror world and I would talk shit in my own dimension, then the mirror man himself. The other one didn't get destroyed at the Nuzlocke. chat chat we have to go back <laughs> fuck that <laughs> the lore is getting solid we got characters like pubert b jenkins or pb bay pbj for short adam nice to see you the zone also popped in. Oh my god, I, I forgot to say hi. I was so distracted. Damn, Mirror Ben is just really shit at chat interaction, I guess. Nut luck. <laughs> Sal Gonardo, holy shit, the whole VIP squad is rolling through. Dumpstering lowly peasants like me, who just have to worship the ground they walk on. Suck their toes. Kids are doing great though. We have gathered. Where do I fit in the lore? I'm the Frodo Baggins. The shitty character who all he does is talk and whine all the time. And really you wish he wasn't the protagonist, but still he's the he's the audience surrogate and the eyes for you to see the entire story through. If Samwise was the main character, 
How dare you, hardcore? You were talking about the mirror one, right? Because I've got the prettiest feet. These feet are worth 199,999 good boy points. That is nothing to scoff at. That is nothing to based emote in better TTV Twitch chat. Am I going to eat that sandwiches? You mean the, the sub badges? My feet are overpriced. Fee, you've said a lot of pogo shit in my chat. As a doubter, I've been merciful. Letting you exist in this realm. You're on thin ice. But with a comment like that. I don't even know what to say to you. I don't even know what to say to you. You guys saw the fucking fidget spinner? <laughs> yeah, I've been using it a lot because I'm really fucking stressed about this exam. Oh, it's all I can think about. It's also um a child that I've adopted custody over from a friend of mine. So I just got it back the other day. It's going to be really awkward when one of us graduates and the other one doesn't graduate. So I'm taking another semester. We have to figure out who gets custody when we when we split up. What's it on? It's on my desk. <laughs> Yo, how do you hold up your pants so well? Belt. I mute the mic with my nose. Every time I pull it in for dramatic effect, I worry that my, my big fucking Wario schnoz is gonna... You wouldn't even know. Oh, shit. You have to, Scottish? That's okay. That's okay. That was the go live notification. My brain is already mush. Make my arms mush, baby. I fucking... I can't think... about another successive rotation. Probably for the next week. But I have to all day tomorrow. What's the test on? It is on spacecraft attitude dynamics. It's just really complex, like, vector calculus. Uh, crazy shit. The only thing I like about the class is we get to toss around words like, um... Oh, the Euler parameters. <laughs> yo, yo, dude, dude. Did you see that fucking Chronicer Delta the other day? Oh, shit was cash, man. Get to say Chronicer. That's three whole syllables. That shit sounds cool. That sounds like I could at any moment shed my skin and there's a lab coat under it. Saganardo. Thank you, brother. When will be there, there be another opportunity to join the VIP club? April 1st. Mark your calendars. I think... You can keep it first. Let me open my calendar. Don't look, chat. This is going to dox my class schedule. March 2021. April 1st is a Thursday. April motherfucking 1st, baby. I can't do April 1st. Oh, it won't be me. It won't be me. You'll be seeing a reappearance from a familiar sight. You see. It's April Fool's Day. Which means... I'll be back around, boys and girls. You haven't seen the last of me, you motherfuckers. Chat, what happened? My eyes rolled back in my skull. Each stream I get closer to doxing myself. No, I literally dox myself one stream. I literally opened Google Maps. <laughs> like right on my location. It was bad. You ever watch BattleBots? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. BattleBots is a, like a robotic engineer's wet dream. I love that shit. Participating in it would be so sick. I mean, if you join Robotics Club in high school, you basically get to do at least similar shit. Each stream I get closer to being a special effects editor. Honestly, that's the dream. That's the dream, right? Not the Minecraft guy. That'd be so sick. Not a lot of streamers take advantage of... How many fucking people sit behind their computer coding OBS all day? This software is goddamn free. And I've been blessed with this rough ass sandpaper green blanket and a camera or two. Why not take advantage of that shit? But have you ever watched Digimon? I don't know any of the Digimon lore, but there was one episode. Not episode, it was a Digimon movie. Um. 
the credit song was like, we're the children of America, whoa. And I TiVo'd that shit once without even knowing what it was. I was like, I like Pokemon. So I TiVo'd the movie. And then an, an, uh, I got sick a few days later and I watched the movie. And then I watched the movie again. And then I watched the movie again. I watched the same movie like five times over the course of one day since I was just homesick all day in like elementary school. And then the next day, I go downstairs. I fucking flip on TiVo. Digimon monsters always mon monstering. I don't know the theme song. What is this? Oh, we're in the blind forest. Oh, we're in this playlist. Oh, we're in the wrong playlist, fellas. We are in the wrong neighborhood. One, two, three, four. There we go. Back to normal. All is right with the world. I only know the Danish theme song of Digimon. That's sick. That's so sick. Was it the one where they go into the internet? It is! It is the one where they go in the internet. That's all I remember is they get like jacked into the Matrix and I'm like, that shit's so fucking sick. I didn't know Mat the Matrix existed. I was like eight years old. Cards on the table, fellas. I still, uh, still haven't seen the Matrix. Creepiest cartoon show to me was Courage the Cowardly Dog. I, I literally wasn't allowed to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog. But sometimes, you know, you would sneak away and watch some Cartoon Network late at night. And Courage the Cowardly Dog came on. I was like, injecting myself with the creepiness. But yeah, it traumatized me. I saw the, the episode with, um, what is it, Larry? Menacing Larry or whatever. And he comes, he comes to visit Grandma Muriel from the insane ward. And he's just a haircutter. Like the whole joke is it's a bait and switch. All he wants to do is give you a haircut. He's not going to murder you. But he's so fucking creepy. He like corners courage in the bathroom. And they get locked in together. And then he's like, I just wanted to do something naughty. Which is what Jem says to himself every time he logs into Discord. Have you seen John Wick? I've seen the first one. I need to see the second and third, but I haven't yet. But I was just watching the trailer for, um, basically the new John Wick. The movie would better call Saul, that dude, but he's John Wick. Nobody. It's called Nobody. It looks sick, and it's made by at least one of the guys that made John Wick. They, like, make sure you know that in the trailer. And it made me want to watch, uh, John Wick 2 and 3. They killed a dog in the first one, so how do they up the stakes in the second and third? He's cooking a dish. He's cooking up some nice pasta. He spent like three to four hours just on the tortellini noodles themselves. And then a secret agent sneakily Mission Impossible's in through the, through the oven thing that lets all the air out. And they sprinkle in just a little too much salt. Just a little too much salt. And it ruins the dish. And he sniffs it out. He follows the trail of salt and sees one of them left a forensic fingerprint in his air duct. And he tracks down the entire fucking FBI and takes them out with a single uh, pencil's too easy. A toothpick. Okay, so you've seen John Wick and not The Matrix. That's an issue. <laughs> Did you at least see Speed 1? Uh, that's even worse. I haven't even seen Speed 1. I mean, I've never even heard of it. Speed. Is that the one with the bus that doesn't slow down? With, like, Sandra Bullock or some shit? He takes them out with a spaghetti stick? What the fuck is a spaghetti stick? Oh, like an uncooked noodle? <laughs> I thought you were saying there's some utensil that people use. Like, oh, if you, if, you, if you visit Japan, you have to integrate with the culture. Out of respect, you have to use chopsticks. And I swear to God, if you go to Italy and you don't suck some spaghetti noodles off of a spaghetti stick... You're just a, you're just a tourist piece of shit. You really are just the scum of the earth. Oh my god, I thought I broke my laptop from jumping on it. We're good. It's all under control. All is right with the world. Literally, no one knows what the ladle with the prongs for noodles is called. No one. It's just a noodle ladle. Is it just me being old or does nobody else know speed with Keanu Reeves? I don't. I don't know a lot of Keanu's work. He's done some weird shit. 
Like, you know him for the action shit, like the Matrix and, um... What the fuck? What the f We were just talking about it. Oh, John Wick. Oh my god, John Wick. And Cyberpunk, of course. Wake up, Samurai. We've got spaghetti to eat. But, I mean, obviously he was in Bill and Tell's- Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Fuck. I was just thinking about something that Keanu Reeves is in and plays like a major role in and it's super normal and like inconspicuous. Keanu Reeves Spongebob? Excuse me? He didn't actually play the character Spongebob, right? He's like a Squidward. No, he's like a cool Squidward. He's Larry the Lobster. Keanu Reeves is, is the Larry the Lobster. Ah. Goo-lagoon. Here we go, and that's like framing. Fuck it, fuck it. Bill and Ted, yeah, we brought up Bill and Ted. No, it's something where you don't see his face. He's like voice acting. What is Keanu Reeves voice acted? Not SpongeBob. Jesus, oh no. Hello, call me Sid. Hello. Call me Sage. Good name. I'm made out of sage and I am a sage. So it works out pretty well. I'm Patrick. My name means toaster in Celtic. Pretty sure it doesn't. Hello. Chat. Is Keanu Reeves a good actor? Let's talk. Let's talk about this. Is Keanu Reeves really a good actor? In John Wick, he kicks ass. But he says like one line of dialogue in the whole movie and it's the worst scene. Is Keanu Reeves actually a good actor? He's like a philanthropist. He's funny. He's down to earth, which is a very, very rare quality among celebrities. He's a good action star for a very specific role. But he's the king of gamers. He's Reddit's god. They worship him and suck on his toes. Dream is cringe. I'm a Keanu Reeves wholesome 100 big chungus fan. There's Pokemon cafes in Japan. This is a dream come true. We have cat cafes in America where people bring their cats. Are you telling me I can go to a cafe right now and just like pet a fucking Absol? That's cracked as hell. The only Pokemon I can think of are from Gen 3. Chat, I'm gonna be honest, yesterday was sublime. Yesterday was the most fun I've ever had doing schoolwork in a long time. Here's what I did, right? Here's my setup. Here's my hacker man, my master Batorium. Took over the entire living room. I'm talking glass of chocolate milk, maybe a cinnamon raisin bagel with some cream cheese on it. The world is your oyster. And then you set up on your laptop and you do a little CAD and you take your make sure your laptop is plugged in because otherwise if you open SolidWorks your laptop will explode in three seconds flat. And then you Chromecast to the TV and all you do is you watch in the background the seven hour and 15 minute exhaustive review of Pokemon Omega Ruby. I think, I think it's my favorite video on all of YouTube, which is such a bold, brazen statement. What, like 800 million hours of footage gets uploaded to YouTube every day? I think it's my favorite YouTube video. It's just so good. This is the second time I've watched this video now. That is over 14 hours of my life spent with this one man and his beautiful, buttery Scottish accent. Pokemon Legends Arceus trailer looks dog. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk, boys. I'm actually pumped. It looks like shit because it's a concept idea. I think if they release it in 2022, it's gonna flop. It's gonna be dog shit. It's gonna be Cyberpunk Sinnoh Edition. Because it looks like it was made in Unity. It looks like it was made in the fucking PlayStation Dream software for people to code. It, it basically looks like Roblox. But the idea, I think, is crinky dink. They're not overhyping it. Everybody else watching is overhyping it. And oh, I'm gonna say 
I'm going to say the thing that everybody's saying, and I fucking hate that I'm going to say it, but it's a very, very important comparison to make. Nintendo made Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is a phenomenal, not perfect, but very, very excellent game and an excellent open world. You can see in the new Animal Crossing game, they took some elements of design philosophy from Breath of the Wild. If they make the new Pokemon game anything like Breath of the Wild, I think those games could integrate together really well. Does Breath of the Wild have Zelda feel to it? Not really. I wouldn't say so. Pokemon with survival? I don't think there's any need to add survival elements to Pokemon. Maybe very basic shit, like Breath of the Wild has for the health system, where you could cook stuff. Maybe you could gather shit and cook stuff for your Pokemon to heal them in the heat of battle. But if you had like a hunger bar and shit that attacks your character directly, you're, you're bloating the game. Compared to Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, no. The core of Zelda games is not the story. It's not really the world, although Ocarina of Time had a fucking wonderful world to get lost in. It's the dungeons. And Breath of the Wild shrines were pretty disappointing to me. But that's a whole nother beast to tackle. We're talking about Legends Arceus. All they need to do to make an interesting open world is A, take from Breath of the Wild's design philosophy and make sure there is content everywhere. Fucking Koroks, fucking puzzles, anything. Anything, sprinkle it through. Make it so that whenever you are exploring, there's something to do, something to find, and it feels like this world is lived in. And B, make the movement very interesting. I think this one goes hand in hand with Pokemon really well if Game Freak doesn't fuck it up. Breath of the Wild has climbing. It's one of its very, very core movement mechanics. What if you could release your Graveler and hop on its back and use that to climb? So now not only does your party composition matter for battling, it matters equally as much for traversal. Now not only is there surf, but you need Pokemon to climb. Maybe if you wanna shield surf down a hill, like in um, Breath of the Wild, you, you hop on your fucking Stunfisk and you bomb in Tony Hawk style down a hill. I don't know, but I think coordinating rock climb reintroduced. Yeah, a lot of what they would have to do is quality of life changes too. Like the fact that when you use strength, you have to talk to a boulder every single time and say, yes, I would like to move this boulder one inch. That's being over ambitious. Maybe so. It depends on how they prioritize because I guarantee a lot of Pokemon's design philosophy is throwing dumb shit at the wall and hoping that it sticks. Did you guys ever, ever play the Pokemon competitions in Gen 3, the contests? Or whatever shit there was in Gen 4, the, the little Pokemon park? That was cute. I did that for, I spent maybe an hour total on that. Gen 5, what the fuck was Gen 5? The movies? Did you, did you touch the movie studio after the tutorial? Hell no. My God, I never went back there. I never even went back to Nimbasa City. Gen 6, Pokemon Ami actually slapped. And then they took it out in Gen 7. They throw shit at the wall. Character customization in Gen 6, it was there. And then they made Omega Ruby and there was no character customization. So not only do they throw shit at the wall and introduce experimental concepts that are not fun, don't integrate well into the gameplay, screw up the narrative and are just fucking kind of a waste of development time, but when something does stick, they still consider an experiment, and you won't even find it in the next games. I'm worried that with Legends Arceus, there's just gonna be a bunch of stupid, dumb bullshit. They're gonna bring back Poffins, or whatever. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Look at Sword and Shield, they found a way to sell you a game through DLCs. I actually haven't touched S.H.I.E.L.D. since I played through the main game, and I don't think I'm gonna buy the DLCs, because S.H.I.E.L.D. was so disappointing to me. But I don't know much about them. I mean, if they are actually difficult, maybe? But I can just play- I can just finish our Platinum Nuzlocke. What do you think the story could be for an open-world Pokémon game? I don't really care. I don't think they should waste time on the story. That's not to say they should make it bad, purposefully. 
but Zelda's story was kind of crunch. Let's be honest. Zelda's Zelda Breath of the Wild specifically. The dialogue, dog shit. The voice acting, serviceable, but they didn't have very good dialogue to work with, so what are you gonna do? But it's still a phenomenal game. One of Nintendo's best in the past like five years. I think what they need to do with the story is exactly what they've always done. Go back to the roots, make sure there is a team of villains with very clear motives that tie into the gameplay. Don't make it, don't fall into the, the trap of the fucking new Star Wars trilogy where they're like, oh, you know what we need to do? You know what we need to do is do exactly what the original Star Wars trilogy did, but with more fucking lasers, baby. Oh, the Death Star? The Death Star's like a puny little baby grape compared to our fucking watermelon of a planet destroyer. Yo, remember when they blew up uh, Endor or whatever planet that exploded? That was cool. That was impactful, right? That was powerful. You knew families lived on that planet. What if we blow up 10 planets, dude? 10 planets! Alderaan, whatever. The same shit. It's just a big grassy ball in space. Pokemon stories recently are not grounded, which doesn't integrate with the gameplay well at all. The story of the first Pokemon game, right? This ma this music doesn't match at all, even though it's it's Cynthia. There we go. The story of Pokemon 1, right? You're on a little adventure assembling your team. At the same time, you find this awful team of bandits that exploit Pokemon for a very simple game. Money. Pokemon 1. You know what the fuck I mean. Gen 1. Team Rocket. Team Rocket is not a masterpiece of writing. They are very one-dimensional. All they want is to make a profit, and they will exploit people in Pokemon to get what they want. It's very, very straightforward. Then you've got the other story of your rival. You are in a constant competition with your rival throughout the game, and they will continue appearing and appearing. And then the third story is your own personal narrative of building, building up strength with your team, getting to love your Pokemon, collecting your Pokemon, and beating the gyms and growing strong. And all three of these narratives, at the end of the game, at the climax of the story, tie together. The eighth gym leader is Giovanni, who is also the leader of Team Rocket. Boom, that's one not tied. Then you get through to the Elite Four. You feel a sigh of relief, and you step into the next room, long ass hallway. No victory music, foreboding music is playing. What the fuck? You proceed into the next room. Who's standing there except that sly, smug piece of shit, Gary Oak? Your rival is the champion, boom! Three story knots tied together in a perfect, beautiful little bow. It's not giant death mega lasers. It's not fucking all over the place. It's grounded with the adventure that you and your Pokemon go through and your rival. It's grounded, it makes sense, it ties together, and it empowers you. <laughs> now the post game, the post game is different. Nowadays, Pokemon games, you start in a little town, a town with a population of like 10 people. We're talking about Pokemon stories right now and specifically about Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, <clears throat> nowadays, you wake up in a sleepy little town, you get some stupid Pokemon for free for some contrived reason. It's the same start as all Pokemon games. I'm not complaining about that. But you're just a little kid, and then throughout the entire course of the game, as you're fighting gyms, there's another side story where you're defeating this stupid Team Noun. Team fucking Flare. Does anybody remember Team Flare? Do you think Team Flare existed because they fit well into the story of Pokemon? No, they existed because you need another Team Noun to fight. Oh, they're gonna blow up the entire planet with Yveltal and... Phineas? Phineas and Ferb are gonna blow up our fucking planet? What was I talking about? I completely lost my train of thought. 
the entire games now you go through and you are just told you are the absolute best and you are coddled and you are coddled but you're like a 10 year old 11 year old kid back in the old games you were good at training right you were an excellent trainer because you trained well you fought trainers you whited out a couple times maybe but you earned your way to the pokemon league fought the elite four dismantled team rocket and beat the champion now from the very very start you're told wow you're you're something special you're something good you're gonna destroy them you get to the end of the game when you have to blow up the mega laser and everybody around you including the champion of whatever fucking region you're in whose job it is to be the best trainer and protect the region from ecological and pokemon related disasters and they stand there and go fuck man This 11 year old kid is just best equipped to deal with the situation. The world is ending in 10 seconds? Shit, man. Send in little Ricky from down the street with his Pikachu. That'll save the world. It's not grounded anymore. It, ne it, it doesn't feel earned because I jumped the shark. <laughs> Yo, this kid's kind of cracked. Sword and Shield had, actually had a champion who did something. Debatable. He talks to the villain. He doesn't convince him out of that shit. He doesn't... I, in the climax of that game, I don't remember him doing anything effective. He doesn't fight Rose. He doesn't fight giant mega laser Pokemon. I don't even remember what the Pokemon was called. Etern, Eternax? Galacticus Eater of Worlds? Eternalox. Yeah, Diantha's stupid, too. Um, what was it called? Eternus? Was it just Eternus? And then, like, Mega Eternus. Z Eternus. Gigantamax Eternus. Eternatus. Okay, I was close. The twins are more intriguing than the league leaders. The twins? You mean Liza and Tate? From Moss Deep Gym in Gen 3? What twins? Oh, the... <laughs> the penis hair guy sword burton and shield word or whatever shield burton sword word yeah those guys are good because you actually dislike them they don't have any good backstory or any good motivations they're just entitled and rich but at least you feel something i didn't feel anything when chairman rose was like oh man Renewable energy is kind of pog. We should blow up the whole fucking world to do it. Remember this world destroying beast from Pokemon history? We should revive that so that we can make more Teslas. This is a relatable story. I am a sympathetic villain who you can agree with and see things from my perspective. No, you dumb piece of shit. You don't even have... The, 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 the one-dimensional evil that at least Team Rocket had, where you understand where they're coming from. They're shitty, shitty people with no moral compass, but you get where they're coming from. Rose is just a brain-dead dude with a, lo a bunch of money. He's so dumb. He's so dumb. Pokemon equals weird champ? Okay. How dare you say that shit in my chat. I talk this passionately about Pokemon because deep down I love that shit. How dare you spell Pokemon wrong? <laughs> oh, you mean Pokimane. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. That's a little better. Hopefully, because Pokemon Legends Arceus takes place like a long time ago, I'm pretty sure it takes place in the past. I'm a little nervous that the legendary Pokemon game is literally the god of Pokemon. Like, Pokemon were never meant to be these fucking all-powerful mega laser world-ending beasts. They're just these creatures that have very unique designs, and maybe some are stronger than others. I mean, Groudon is gonna beat a Magikarp any day of the week, but they're not gonna fuck your shit up. They're not gonna literally snap and wipe out half the population. But now they do. Now you Eveltal, the Y Pokemon, if it dies, doesn't just all matter cease to exist? Yeah, Gen 4, and then Gen 4 came out and they were like, alright, we need to up the anti-ear. That's when the Mega Laser shit started. 
And then Gen 5 was a little more grounded. Gen 5, I, I really liked the story of because it it went back to grounded and they put the climax of the story in the right spot. <laughs> we talk about the names of some of the Pokemon. I think, I think generally Pokemon's names are really, really good and clever. There's some exceptions like Grimer and Mr. Mime. But I think for the most part, they're they're pretty clever portmanteaus. Or ack whack whack. <laughs> okay, I'm talking specifically uh, English. Enton? I don't know what that is. Mm. What Pokemon is Enton? Yeah, as long as they make the story grounded in Pokemon Legends Arceus, It'll be totally fine. Enton is Psyduck? <laughs> Just sounds like the name of your dog if you live in Arkansas. Enton, here, boy. Come here, boy. Get Enton. Yeah, I have my fingers crossed. I am a little too hyped for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Excuse me. Than I should be because I know I'll be disappointed, especially with Game Freak's track record. But I really, really, really do have my fingers crossed that recently when Nintendo has gotten experimental, it has worked out in their favor. The best example I could come up with was Breath of the Wild. Pokemon Legends Arceus kind of looks like Breath of the Wild. I mean, it does. It looks promising as a concept. It is conceptually promising. I am curious how the gameplay is going to shift because in the trailer... Somebody throws a Pokeball at a Pokemon without being in a battle. Which is a weird dynamic. A very, very weird dynamic. I don't even know what I think about that. There's so much to say about that. As long as they don't rush it. Yeah, the fact that it's coming out in 2022 has me nervous. I, I genuinely hope they delay it. You look like a... A person to watch Pokemon for the plot? Dude, it's there. I'm gonna enjoy every aspect of a game if they put it in. I paid for it. It's not to say it, Pokemon Yellow's plot is revolutionary. But it's fucking oodles better than... Omega Ruby's. I like Ruby's plot, too. It was a little terse. It's a little stereotypical. It's no longer just a story about growth and family. Now it's about, like environmental concerns, beginnings and ends, but I think they handled it well in Ruby. Then they jumped the shark with Omega Ruby. But Game Freak now has a track record of continuing to up the ante, even when they're remaking games that pretty much already have a solid basis. Now no longer is it just like an ecological crisis. Oh shit, we reawakened Groudon, now we're gonna have droughts. Now we're gonna have a drought. Oh no. Some Pokemon might die. The, the ocean's gonna dry up a little bit. We, we really we really screwed the pooch on this one. We need to figure it out. Now it's, the sky is literally on fucking fire. If we don't stop Groudon within the next 10 minutes, every living creature on this earth is dead. You didn't need that. You made it worse. You fucked it up, Game Freak. You done fucked it up. Worst villains, Lysander, Rose, fucking Plasma Boy. Oh, Team Plasma. What generation is Team Plasma? Oh, Team Plasma is, uh... Is N. Yeah, Team Plasma is Gen 5. Do you mean Getsis? Guzma. I have no idea who the hell Guzma is. Good villains, Giovanni. Yeah. Cyrus, jumping the shark a little bit. But I do like Cyrus, especially in Platinum. Archie and Maxi, they're all right. And I don't know who Lusamine is either. Gen 5? Guzma? I played Gen 5. 1 and 2. Jake, you already you made that joke like an hour ago. <laughs> Gen 7. Okay, that's why I don't know Guzma and I don't know uh, Lusamine. I never played Sun and Moon. Yeah, Lysander was so boring. I don't even remember what his motivation was. He just wanted to like blow some shit up with the infinity energy or something stupid shit and then this 3,000 year old man comes out and is like yo I'm immortal but I'm so sad my little flower Pokemon weft me because I committed war crimes I violated the Geneva Convention uwu
X and Y had a boring dead story. I'm sorry. The best story in X and Y was Looker's side story. You forgot about Az? Yeah, it's so stupid. It's so stupid that you forget about it. It's like it could be handled better in a in a different game. But Pokemon's gameplay and Pokemon's writing just isn't equipped to tackle a story that heavy. It really isn't. Lusamine was a really interesting character. I do want to play Sun and Moon. I really, really like the tropical setting. You've been stalling for an hour and a half? And this is the Twitch speedrun, baby. Shit. It has been an hour and a half. Oh my god. Only an hour and 21. We're good, we're good, we're good. We got nine more minutes. We got eight more minutes. You want content? This is content, baby. Let's talk about the diamond remakes. All right, fellas, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You're here on a very special weird stream where it's just us talking. So I'm gonna talk to you. We've talked a lot about the seven hour exhaustive review of Pokemon Omega Ruby. I've been kind of considering because the game launches in November, I graduate in December. Depending on what I do when I graduate, it would be fucking cracked to just take a year-long project while, while I'm doing other content creation. I'm not going to drop off the face of the map for this. To make an exhaustive seven-hour review of Brilliant Diamond. I think that would be sick. I think the fact that I've been stalling here for an hour and a half talking about Pokemon stories proves that I could at least make it four hours. I think I could hit that benchmark. Seven hours is crinky dink, but it would be sick. After we beat New Vegas, of course, of course. Or while we beat New Vegas. Would I play the game on stream? It depends. I would love to play the game on stream because then I can get your takes on things and we can use it as, as content. Yo, you moved up five spots, Dreco. Pog you, dude, that's huge. Good for you, man. Well deserved. And the Nuzlocke, and Peggle. Oh, we already did Peggle, but there could be more Peggle. We haven't beat Peggle. Ditto! What's the exam on? It's gonna be my hardest exam ever. It's on, I, I'm, I'm getting a minor in lesbian dance theory. No, it's a spacecraft attitude dynamics exam. It's gonna fuck me. It's gonna dumpster me. I'm not gonna lie, but we get technically 24 hours to do it So I'm gonna Here's me. Here's my battle plan right boys. The exam window opens at 1130. I'm gonna study tonight Grind and grind and grind until 2 a.m. Roughly Then I'm gonna relax go to sleep with a glass of water wake up 10 on the dot Have a bagel chill. I don't know fuck around for half an hour crunch for an hour before the exam and then get into it and just grind for obviously not 24 hours but dude it's gonna suck it's gonna suck fellas i am so stressed i've had a pit in my stomach for this exam for the past day and a half they've proven getting sleep is the most important thing so make sure to get some sleep thank you i needed to hear that you always know that shit but then you're like yeah but what if I just like memorize this equation instead bro you're right you're absolutely right you have an ASEN 3200 exam tomorrow no idea what that means ASEN aerospace engineering ah for us the the class code is AAE so how do they prevent against cheating well it's it's open note so really the only way to cheat would to be to have the answers beforehand and I'm pretty sure they the questions are completely original and this test has never been made. Other than that, I don't know. Google. Well, the questions don't exist on Google. So if you need to Google something, they probably don't want you to Google. I don't intend to use Google, but Keplerian orbits hit hard. Mm. My boy Kepler. Legit got half a point off on my geometry exam because I said 3 times 10 equals 15. Fuck me, man. It's always the arithmetic errors. It's always the easy shit. That is exactly why even when I need to do like 2 plus 2, I still plug it into my calculator. 
I still do it. And I hate the shit that's like, sorry, no calculator on this exam. Sorry. You need to know, you need to know how to integrate fucking e to the 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 differentiate my cock. No, dude. I'm an engineer. I am exclusively going to be locked up in a cubicle with a computer and a calculator. Not to mention every single person on this fucking earth has a smartphone with a calculator on it. Is you stupid or is you dumb? Anyway, that was a, that was a, that was a tangent. I digress. Is it geometry middle school? Uh, it was middle school for me, but different schools do different curriculum at different times. But if you're under 13, out. And if you're under 18, l please don't go on the NSFW Beams channel. Genuinely don't. You will get the Discord deleted from Discord. Geometry's ninth grade. Ninth grade is 13, right? Pog you. I click a button in Fusic 360 and it does the mechanical stress calculations. Exactly! Computers, engineers are obsolete now that the computers do shit. All we need now is people who can make the computers to do the shit. Which is us. Ninth grade is 15? Oh, even better. I don't remember that shit. I'm 18, I'll send you my ID right now. Send me your social security number too, and also uh, your mom's credit card, and those three silly little numbers on the back. What if you forgot your phone? How are you supposed to calculate your groceries? <laughs> oh no. I'm not gonna be able to find the Euler parameters of this satellite without my calculator. I guess college didn't prepare me for this shit. Come on, man. Salmon, what the fuck? Why do you have five? Those are- At least four of those are other people's social security cards. Identity theft is not a joke. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. What the fuck? I'm scared, Dreco. You think you're scared? I'm- I'm target number one. He's had snipers trained on me since July. Jake, please do not, for the love of God, do not send me your ID. I believe you. Say whatever age you are on the internet. Nobody gives a fuck. Lie about it. As long as I don't know the real answer, if it's under 13, fine. Lie to me. Because in a court of law, that'll hold up. Say, it, it might not work for statutory, statutory rape. Officer, I swear she said she was 18. But if the fucking Discord gets taken down because one of you lied to me, then I can at least appeal that I didn't know. But if you come into chat and tell me you're 15, I now legally can no longer let you in the NSFW memes channel. Or if you come into my chat and you're 12, you say you're 12. Come on. If you fall into that pitfall, then you don't, you don't even deserve to be on Twitch. The 13 rule is, is good. You're 69. Funny number, baby. Cherish it. Cherish it. You guys wait for 2069? When I was like 16, I was like, dude, 2069 is going to be so hype. The meme game is going to be so strong. Now I'm realizing like on New Year's, <laughs> one tweet will come out that makes you breathe, uh, a little heavily out of your nose. And that's it. No one's ever gonna live that long. You think we're gonna we're gonna blow up the planet before 2069? I think we'll make it to 69, but we might not make it to 2100. I think that's gonna be game over before 2100. Which is why we need to start racing to Mars. 69 funny will be a boomer meme. It already is stale as fuck, yeah. Sometimes I get that. 
that physiological reaction, right? The reflex before you get to think of it, when I see 69 or 420 to go. <laughs> or when someone's like, yo, give me a number. Give me a random number off the top of your head. 69. And I hate that part of me. The deepest, deepest fibers of my being. But I don't think it'll ever go away. It's just an unfortunate aspect of who we are. Jake, do not send me this picture. For the love of God, I will immediately delete it. I will close my eyes and immediately delete it. I do not want this information. I do not want this image. The FBI will find me. I talked to them. I talked to them at a career fair. Show it on stream first. I'll do it. If you DM me your ID, I will show it on stream. That is a promise. Hi, welcome to uh, twitch.television forward slash turkey turkey, our Thursday, March 4th stream. This is the one where he reconsiders every single person who he has given mod status to. I may have made a few mistakes. And I'm starting to realize. No mods, boys. Anarchy. We're starting from square one. I'll make my mom a mod, and that's it. Nah, I won't scam you on that. The funny mic. I didn't say anything funny. <laughs> Sixty-nine. There you go. You got your money's worth. It's not identity theft if they never exist. In oh, so these are just fake social security numbers. You just made up a. Seven? Seven digit number? I did your push ups, you baby back bitch. I did your push ups and I did Scottish's push ups. I have done 20 push ups today. You lie. If you want to redeem more, hey, more power to you. But you did not get scamazed. Fee's got the right idea. Wait, no, Fee's got the wrong idea also. No, 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 go for the feet. Shoot for the feet. There's some math to make the number valid, but it's valid for PayPal and Amazon systems. So are there names associated with these social security numbers? Have you created four fictional people or five? How do you know these don't belong to actual people? How do you make a- I, actually, I don't want to know the answer to this. I am gonna get wrapped up- I, I don't want to be a, an accomplice to this shit. What the fuck's it- but you're reformed now, right? You're reformed. Reformed, right? You're- it's all good. Banned from League of Legends, but you're reformed now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Just, just want to make sure. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. We all have dark pasts. That's right. I'm not the fucking feds. I'm not the DEA, baby. You say it like you're gonna do it again. I haven't done it in like a while. Yeah. It's not like... Guys, it's okay. I, I know I messed up, but I haven't done it in like a while. It's more of a nostalgic... I haven't done that in a while. Those were the good old days, man. Those were the good old days. I bought an entire flat screen TV and didn't pay a dollar for it. <laughs> Can you guys hear that on the mic? I guess a shock mount isn't that powerful. 95 minutes of just chatting? How do you think I'm gonna get my subs if I don't touch my elbows together? and talk to you guys about Pokemon for an hour and a half. 
Time to stop stalling. No, we're honestly, this was supposed to be a speedrun stream. We probably won't be won't be out here on these streets much longer. But who knows? Every time I say that, we end up going until like fucking midnight. See so if fuck someone up in 20 years. Yeah, but I got a plasma screen, baby. <laughs> now I can watch the backyard again in full 1080p HD. 4K, 144 frames per second, 144 hertz, gaming laptop, RGB, six consoles. If social security exists in 20 years, our life is already ruined. Hot takes, baby. Just play some Peggle while chatting. I do still have the Peggle scene. You won't be able to hear me. War. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq war. <gasps> Shit. Sam admitting to crimes casually. That is probably the most common thing that happens in this chat. <laughs> Way too many crimes have been admitted to in here. Not me though, I'm a good boy. I'm a good, I would never. I would never. I got parent permission every time I logged into Club Penguin. Um, I... I paid for my copy of Sony Vegas uh, Pro 13 Studio. And whenever I eject a USB, I first I click safely eject. I'm a good boy. I'm a little angel. I'm mommy's little angel. Sure, bet you secretly play hentai games. Yeah, but me and Moira play it together, so it's chill. It's totally chill. Aren't I supposed to be studying? Yeah, this was supposed to be a speedrun stream. This was supposed to be over an hour ago. Posted a photo of your room. Is there still is there still wine in there? That's not irrecoverable. That would take two good days of room cleaning. You could get that back together. Maybe. I didn't look that closely at it. I'll look I'll look closer later. Holy shit. Uh, Punish Frog raises a good point, and the deeper and deeper we get into the stream as the clock continues to tick, I get more and more stressed about my upcoming exam. And I think that stress comes through. I think you guys can tell that I'm a little nervy worthy. I'm a little stressy wetseed. There is a non-zero number of butterflies in my stomach right now. And I think it reflects in my ability to entertain. But that doesn't mean the fun has to end. I say we spread the love to someone who is not compromised tonight. Why did you eat live butterflies? No, I ate caterpillars, baby. It's They're easier to swallow, swallow down, but then you get more nutrients as they grow. The best stage is the chrysalis stage. Oh, flavor crystals, my guy. Flavor crystals. So you can compromise them as well. Yeah, I got work to do, boys. Battle plan. In bed by 2 a.m., up by 10. Destroying this 24-hour exam. If I send a single fucking message in this Discord before Saturday, call me out. JP, we raided Simos last time. We're not going for the twofer. Thank you, fellas. I believe in you. Let's spread the love back to Mori. Absolute goat. Very, very entertaining. Usually people who are good at shooters, just like generally, don't have the presence, right? They don't have the, the entertainer presence, the stage presence. So people watch them for their skill or they watch a different streamer for entertainment. Mori somehow does both. Mori, I mean, get you a man who could do both. I feel insecure in his presence because I can't click a single goddamn head in a single goddamn video game. I only have the ability to talk. He's got both. He truly is a modern renaissance man. So why do you watch me?
Isn't it obvious? For the dumpy, baby. You watch me, because Mori don't have that face cam. Mori can't throw it back like I can, boys. Oh my god, how long have I been muted? Oh my god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I timed it with the beat and everything! Enjoy your time in Maury's chat. I will not see you until Saturday. Do not let me be distracted. I'm gonna grind and grind and destroy this shit. Have fun in Maury's chat. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good Thursday night. Or Friday morning, depending on your time zone. And remember, though you may have fun in your his chat, Mori can't throw it back like this. He can't do this. With like aches and be friends with like, you know, Corey and that's you know, gonna be in the VOD. Shit. And, you know, Shit. That. that was Yo, supposed to what the fuck? That was supposed to not happen. Turkey. Shit. Oh my